What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski and I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now today guys, we will be discussing about Crocodile. Now Crocodile was a brand new unit introduced into the global version of One Piece Treasure Cruise uh, within the last update 2.2 where we got Nanohana Rain Base which is an absolutely amazing storyline and absolutely amazing saga in general of Alabaster if you guys haven't seen the One Piece saga of, of actually Alabaster and all of that with VV and Crocodile, it's absolutely amazing, so I definitely recommend you go watch that, but as we are all One Piece fans, I'm pretty sure all of you guys have already seen it, but what we will be doing today is basically discussing about Crocodile himself, because the fact is, within One Piece Treasure Cruise, he has kind of a weird evolution line. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, yeah, he evolves into a four-star version of Crocodile, being Sir Crocodile, uh, but the fact is, he actually gets another evolution. Now, a lot of you guys who don't know about this or haven't played the Japanese version will be very confused right now, but don't worry, I'll be going through everything you need to know about the new evolution of Crocodile will be coming within the next story aisle of One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into the video. So as I said guys, the new evolution of Crocodile will be available within the next story aisle of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Currently we have Nanohana Rain Base available in global. As you can see on screen, this is my Japan version and it does progress onto Alubana, which is where you'll be able to evolve Crocodile. Now Crocodile is available in Nanohana Rain Base, obviously, however, he will be getting the new evolution once the update comes out for the next story aisle of Alubana. Now that we've gone through that, now let's discuss the actual units of Crocodile himself. Now there are three different units of Crocodile that we will be discussing. There is the one that he will drop and his two evolutions. We'll be talking about the secret evolutions last, the new one that will be coming in the next story aisle. So here is the one that you will drop in Nanohana Rain Base or you can also drop him in Alubana as well. Mr. Zero Baroque Works CEO. This is the three star version of Crocodile. Level one, he gets a 194 health, 110 attack and 23 recovery. And at level 50, he maxes out at 1,088 health, 659 attack, and 147 recovery, with a captain effect of reducing damage taken by 10% and double intelligence character's attack, which isn't too bad, and his special ability will poison one enemy. Now, now that we've gone through that, now let's talk about his 4-star evolution that is available right now in One Piece Treasure Cruise Global version. So once you evolve the three-star version, Mr. Zero, he evolves into four-star version, Sir Crocodile. And this is also available right now from Nanohana Rain Base. And at level one, he has 995 health, 582 attack, and 112 recovery. And he maxes out at level 99, getting 2,210 health, uh, 1,220 attack and 208 recovery, so some very strong stats for a level 4 unit. And his captain effect reduces damage taken by 20% and also doubles the attack of all intelligence units in your crew. Now, that's similar to the 3 star version. The 3 star version will reduce damage by 10%. The 4-star version will reduce it by 20%, and his special ability will poison one enemy as well, similar as the 3-star unit as well. Now we'll talk about the next evolution. Now you might be thinking it goes to 3-star, to 4-star, to 5-star, however, there is a different evolution line with this particular crocodile. Let's talk about the 5-star Sir Crocodile. So this is the 5 star version of Crocodile, only available once we reach Alubana. So that is the next story aisle in One Piece Treasure Cruise Global. Once that happens, we'll be able to evolve our 3 star Crocodile into the 5 star version. Now I will be talking about that a little bit later. But the reason why this Crocodile is so good is because he is a slasher. The previous Crocodiles are all impact units, or strikers as they're called. And uh, this one is actually a slasher, meaning that he can be used in specific Mihawk teams, uh, which makes him super, super strong. So, Sir Crocodile King under the Shichubukai level 1, he gets 1,088 health, 659 attack, and 147 recovery. And at level 99, he maxes out, getting nearly 3k health, 1,380 attack, and 150 recovery. His captain effect will reduce damage taken by 20% and double the attack of all slashes. So, a decent captain for slashes and a special ability that turns his slot to intelligent and randomly shuffles the rest of the crew slots and deals 15 times his attack to all enemies in purple 
damage. So as you can see, this is absolutely crazy. He is such a strong unit with his stats and also has some decent special abilities. So you can see that within a Mihawk team, he could be used really, really well. And obviously with that 2.5 times attack boost from Mihawk himself, uh, you can see how Crocodile could become a complete powerhouse in any slasher team. Now just a little bit more information for you guys, this is just a comparison between the 4 star and the 5 star version here. So we have the uh, th the 4 star version on the left and the 5 star version on the right. And as you can see, at level 1 and at level 99 when they're both maxed, that the 5 star version on the right has a significant more amount of health, of attack. Uh, but he does have a little bit less recovery which isn't too bad to deal with, um, but the more important stats, health and attack are very vital and as you can see when they are maxed out the health is significantly higher in the 5 star however the attack is uh, a little bit a little bit higher in the 5 star version and the captain effect is also a little bit different the 4 star version will only specifically boost up intelligent units while the 5 star version will only double a slashes attack and the special abilities also being different in that the 4 star version will poison one enemy when the 5 star version has the ability to make himself a purple slot giving him double attack for that turn and shuffling the rest of your crew members slots and also dealing damage so you can see why the 5 star, the five star version is the more favored crocodile version and also just because the 5 star version is also a slasher while the 4 star version is an impact or a, or a striker unit. Now one thing that a lot of people do get wrong with Crocodile is that they think that they can evolve him to the 4 star version and then to the 5 star version. You know, easy as that. However, it is a little bit different with this unit on the global version to the fact that he can evolve either to the 4 star version or he evolves from the 3 star version directly to the 5 star version. And that is one thing that a lot of people do get wrong. So if you guys are looking forward to getting to that 5 star slasher unit, then make sure not to evolve your Crocodile or you can either farm 2 Crocodiles so you can get both evolutions. So that is basically the whole reasoning of me making this video because a lot of people do get this wrong and I just wanted to basically put that out there that Crocodile can evolve either into a decent striker unit or into an amazing slasher unit that can be used in many slasher teams. So that is basically going to conclude this video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you guys did make sure to smack that like button down below and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel including more One Piece Treasure Cruise videos then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but other than that guys i will see you guys within the next video